Hi guys, I'm including a third tutorial in this series. This one showing how to control the camera so that it points in the middle of the two characters. At the project I'm working on currently, I need the camera to only move, move uh, sideways. That would be the Y direction in this case. So that's what I will do here. For this tutorial, I will put all the camera controls in the level blueprint. So let's just open it up. Here it is. Perhaps the most tricky part of this is actually to get uh, the locations of our two characters. So let's start with that. First, I will add them as variables. So let's add a new variable here. And let's search for it. My and my character. This is the character one. So let's call it that. Character one. And let's add another variable here. Search for my, and this should be a to the type uh, character or character two. That will be our character two, like that. Now we only need to get a hold of them. To get our characters, we can use a function called get all actors of class. Here we have it. And the class we're interested in in this case, at least in the first case, is the my character. So this function will return an, uh, an array of all the my character uh, instances in this uh, program. But we of course know that it's only one, since we only have a made one, character one. So we can use the get function. And this will return the, the first element in the array. And that will be of course the, the element that we are interested in. To make sure that this actually is an element of the, of the type that we want, we can cast it. Cast to, let's see here to my character like this and if this is successful then we want to set it so the character one should be set okay like that set the character one if it works and if the casting fails for some reason then we perhaps should write a message. Print string. Uh, cast character one failed. So that we will see. We will see that. I'm sure it won't happen in this case, but it's always a nice thing to have. So now we just need to do basically the the same thing. We can just uh, copy this one. Control W. And now we want to find the character one. The, uh, sorry, uh, my character two. We get the first one here as well. Uh, we will need a different casting, of course. Cast to my character two. Like that. Connect it get our character two. set this one if it's successful like that Let's control W for the print string if it fails then we should have character two failed displayed on the screen These get all actors functions are quite uh, expensive. They use a lot of time, so it's important that this is only done once. That's why we will connect it to the event begin of play. What I like to do to make it a bit more easy to to view here is to put a put a sequence node here. So let's connect this one. So first here. Then this node will be 
sorry this node will be connected and then this node will be connected so in this blueprint we now have a uh, we have now gotten a reference to our actors and we can now use this to get the position of them which we will again use to direct the camera. Let's uh, calculate the new position of uh, our camera and what we first need to do is to find the previous position. First uh, select the camera node, make a copy of it like that. First we need to find where it actually is at the moment. Then uh, here again the context men uh, sensitive doesn't work. So if we write get actor location, it doesn't work. So we have to switch it off. Get actor location like that. This will show uh, the the position of the camera currently. And we need to break this vector. Let's switch on the context again. Break vector into its components. Because, as I said, uh, we only want to change the Y direction in uh, this uh, example. So we can now uh, create a, a make vector also. Make vector here. This will be the, the new vector, the new position for our camera. So let's just copy over the X and the C set direction like that. So if we take a new copy of our camera, first of all, let's just uh, move everything a bit down, so not to make it too cluttered. And with this camera actor, we can use uh, set location. Still, this context thing doesn't work, so. Um, Set actor location. So for our uh, camera actor, we need uh, we need two things. We need the location, where it should be, and we also need the rotation, where it should point at. So let's just make that as well. Set actor rotation this the rotator here is also something that we are going to calculate now so this is sort of the setup uh, let's also just add the the event tick like this so what we only need to do now is to calculate the new Y position and also the, the rotation of the camera. Let's first get the location of our two actors. So character one, get this one, then uh, get the location and it of course doesn't work with this text thing, get the actor location and this vector we need to break out. Break vector like that. Control W to copy. Let's get our other character, character 1. Like this. What we now need is, um, first of all, this make vector up here, which is going to be the position of the camera, needs the average of the Y directions. But we also need the actual uh, midpoint between our two characters, because that's going to be the point that our camera is going to look at. So we also need to calculate that. So first of all, let's just calculate the average of all the three um, vector components. So let's start with the y direction, since that is uh, one that we need the most. Let's add a math node. Like that. 
to create an, uh, a node that will create, uh, calculate the average, let's just point in a plus b divided by 2. That's our average node. Let's take in the y for character 2 and the y for character 1. So we have this one. And this we can now just actually put into this, uh, this node. Now actually the the position of our camera is now complete. All we now need is the rotation of it. So to do that, let's just copy this average node twice. This one in the middle here can be for the X components. And the lower one for the Z component, like this. And now let's just make a vector. That's going to be the location of the midpoint between our characters. Make a vector like this. Make sure this is the, this is x, yes. And let's put the y here, and the z direction, z direction here. So what we now need is to use the find look at rotation. Here we have it. We are going to start at the new camera location. And our target is the midpoint between our characters. And the return value is the rotation we are looking for. So this should actually be it. Let's just uh, compile it and uh, make sure that it works. Here we have our two characters. Now if we move them, we can see that the camera is moving to face the midpoint. And it will also move upwards and downwards to look at the midpoint between our characters. So this looks quite successful, I think. Hope this tutorial has been useful for you. And thank you for watching.